Hello, my name is John Lee, and I'm the president of Alpha Training and Consulting, where we help prepare people for ASQ certification exams. Today, we're going to talk about how to sign up for an ASQ certification exam. And so the first thing you'll do is you'll come to this website, which is www.asq.org. ASQ standing for American Society for Quality. .org, ASQ.org. It'll bring you here. The first thing you need to do uh, is to sign up uh, as a member of ASQ. Now you can take it as a non-member, but it ends up costing you more money. So I'm just recommending you go into membership. So let me select that option here. And there it is. And you come in here and you decide where you want to go. If you're a student, I pick the student. That's $29 and you can still take the test, but you do have to be a student. Uh, I'd sign up for associate. That gives me everything I need. I can take the exam and everything. You can do the full membership and uh, you'll get a few perks. And if you want to become, for example, the president of the local, local ASQ section, you must be a full member. Uh, but for most people, associates will be fine. And if you are a student, then, then most certainly select that and save yourself some money. And so you just click here, join, and you can go in, fill out the information, and they'll and pay the money, and then they'll eventually get back with you and say, okay, you've been accepted by ASQ. It doesn't usually take much time at all. Uh, so they'll, at that point, they'll give you a membership number. And the next step, once you have done that, you can come back, log back into the website, put in your username, your password, sign in, and now they know who's uh, looking for certification. It makes it quicker to sign, sign up for everything. So once you get signed into the website, you go to certifications. And here we are. And you scroll down right here where it says get started. You'll see that uh, there's an option there say, that says apply for a certification. So just select that option. Apply for a certification. And here you have it. You can read through that. I'm not going to do that at this time. But uh, you come down here and you find the exam that you're interested in. There's the CQA and you select apply and you go in there and you'll uh, do the application to sit for that particular certification. Now every one of these certification has requirements. So many years of experience, etc. And you're go once you go into this apply, you're going to have to type in all your work experience. And uh, they're looking for how many years you've been involved with quality. Well, by ASQ's very uh, value system, everyone's supposed to be involved in quality. So whatever job you had put in there, responsible for making quality decision uh, on whatever you work. Maybe you worked at McDonald's creating hamburgers or whatever. But uh, put that in everything so you can get credit because you should have, everyone's responsible for quality, so your experience should count there. And uh, once you get that filled out and your job experience in there, if you want to take another certification later, you can apply and you have all that in your system already. It'll be very quick and simple. First time's a little more time consuming. It's not bad. I'd give myself maybe 20 minutes or so to finish that. And then you'll uh, submit that application, and it'll take, uh, you know, a little while. They have to look over that, make sure everything looks all right. Then if you are accepted, they'll send you an email and say, you've been accepted to sit for the Certified Quality Auditor exam, blah, blah, blah. And sometimes they may write back and say, you don't have the, uh, you don't meet the requirements to take this exam. And you may have to call them up and see if you can't uh, get them to see things your way. But all as I'd say right now is uh, make sure all of your experience has something in there that says was also responsible for making quality decisions concerning such and such. And that will help you. Okay, but we're going to assume that you get an email back and say, okay, you've been accepted, you can sit for the exam. The next thing they're going to do is they're going to uh, have you sign up for a date and a time. So I'm going to share my email with you on that. So here it is. This is the, after I got accepted to sit for an exam, then they sent me this email. You're now eligible to schedule your CSQP exam through Prometric. That's at least the time of this recording. 
that is the organization they contracted with to uh, monitor to give the exams then it has this link you just click on this link you enter your eligibility ID and uh, the first four characters of your last name there mine only had three so it worked anyway <laughs> but uh, once you get in there it takes you to their website and you can go in and select a, a testing center that you want to attend and a date and a time now if you go in there and that particular location is filled up you can always go to another location and uh, take the test there they may have more times available so keep that in mind but anyway once you do that you select submit uh, maybe you have to pay some more money I don't know it seems like money is going through every one of these steps unfortunately but uh, that's the nature of the beast and uh, then somewhere at a point in time I don't think it's on here but you need to find the rules that are published for the testing center because there's quite a few rules you must have all your material in binders no stapled copies or anything like that you must take all the colored pages out of your primer uh, and you can take notes in there as long as they have to be bound in a three ring binder or something um, what else do you need to know they only allow certain kinds of calculators they don't allow graphic calculators and when you go in there they're going to be in a little cubicle with a camera and you can't even write on your paper uh, because you could be writing stuff and taking it out to the general public so they give you a whiteboard you can write on and solve problems etc so anyway those things may change over time so be sure and go and, and make sure you understand all the rules before you go into that testing center and that's how you sign up for an ASQ exam congratulations you have completed this video if you have any questions please contact me through my website thank you and have a great day goodbye